Hi all, how's it going? HKUHD here and welcome to a new video. If you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button for future videos around tech. Today I want to show you how I improve my download speeds on my PS5. Stick around to find out more. How many of you actually get the internet speeds you pay for? I'm guessing not many. With my router being downstairs and my PS5 upstairs, I've noticed that it takes a long time to download a game from the PlayStation Store. Unfortunately, the routers you get from your internet service providers aren't up to the task. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to run a quick speed test on my PS5 to show you what speeds I'm currently getting. I'm currently on a 500 meg plan, but as you can see from the download speeds, it's clearly a lot less than that. At this rate, it'll take a few hours to download a game. So what have I tried to improve this? Well firstly I have tried splitting the Wi-Fi bands between 2.4GHz which offers a better range and 5GHz which hopefully offers the faster speeds I'm looking for. I only connected to the 5GHz band and the highest download speed I saw on my PS5 was around 80 megs. But let's see if I can improve this. One option I considered was a power line but for me that would mean having an Ethernet cable running across the floor to the PS5 which wouldn't look too great and I'd probably trip over it at some point. So I'd thought I'd try a mesh system, which creates a seamless network between multiple nodes connecting to your existing modem. This would give me the option to position the node next to my PlayStation and connect an Ethernet cable between the two. So let's see if this can improve my download speeds. So here you can see I have the Deco X20. So some of the key features with the Deco X20 is that it is Wi-Fi 6. You can connect up to 150 devices on it and it's easy to set up and manage with the Deco app. So let's quickly unbox this. So let's quickly talk about the design. So it's small and compact, which is good because you can easily place it wherever you like. There's an LED indicator on the bottom to let you know the status of the device. On the back you have two Ethernet ports and the power port. On the bottom are some vents and the reset button. So the first thing you probably want to do is enable the modem mode on your existing router. This basically just turns off the Wi-Fi capability and allows you to pass data through one of the Ethernet ports on the back, which will then be connected to one of the nodes. So I've downloaded the Deco app from the App Store. So let's get started. First you need to select your Deco, mine is the X20. So for this you will need a Deco, the power adapter and the Ethernet cable. Firstly switch off your modem. Next you need to plug everything up. So here I will be plugging the power adapter and the Ethernet cable into the Deco. Then I'll connect the Ethernet cable to the modem, then turn everything on. Wait until your modem has turned on. Then wait for the Deco light to pulse blue, then you are ready. Next you need to connect to the Deco Wi-Fi. So here I'm just quickly connecting to it. And I'm just waiting for it to connect. Next just select what room the deco is in. So mine's the living room. Here I'm just keeping everything as the default option. But you can change yours if you want. Then you need to create your Wi-Fi network. And then wait for that to be set up. So now it's asking you to join that network. So that's all connected. Now we're just waiting for the internet connection. So here it's all set up. 
and we can add another deco if we want now. I'm going to leave it at this stage. With everything set up and connected to the network, let's see the speeds I am getting now. I am really hoping to see an improvement. So just by using one node that's placed in the living room, I am able to get a faster download speed. This has increased by around 25 megabytes per second. But let's see if I can increase this by adding the second node. So let's set up the second node. First we need to select our model, select how many floors we have, and then we just need to wait for the deco to pulse blue again. So now the network is looking for our device. And it's been found. Then we just need to select what room it is in. And that's it. The next speed test is the PS5 being connected to the second node via Wi-Fi. So just by placing one of the nodes in my bedroom, I've managed to increase my download speeds. So it's going in the right direction. Let's see what it's like with a wired connection. So the last speed test is the PS5 being connected to the second node via Ethernet cable. 300 megs. I'm really pleased with this. Let's quickly check how long it will take to download a game. The fast download speeds are really convenient due to the limited space of the existing hard drive. So as you can see, it's taken around 20 seconds to download one gig. Previously, it used to take longer than two minutes just to download a gig. So again, I'm really happy with this. I successfully managed to improve my download speeds from using the mesh network. I am pleased with my results and hope you find this useful in helping you to get the best download speeds possible. If you enjoyed this video, then please drop a like and subscribe for future videos. See you in the next one.